okay we have an empty stretch up front and we are in the boost mode so are we ready steady go oh my goodness gracious this is an insane rocket on four wheels absolutely insane hi there guys super excited to bring you the first drive impression of the much anticipated harrier ev now what tata have done here is not just offered or created a EV. They have created an absolute monster. You can call it a monster EV. <laughs> That's the kind of name I kind of uh, you know I can think of. Once you drive it and experience it for yourself, it's an absolute ballistic beauty. So, quickly giving you an overview because we've done a dedicated walk around. So I request you to watch that where all the details have been spoken about and a detailed exterior interior walkthrough has already been done. Here I'm giving you a quick overview and then we're going to go to the action-packed drive impression. Okay, first of all, two battery pack options to choose from 75 kilowatt hour, 65 kilowatt hour. 75 kilowatt hour offers an IDC range of 627 kilometers and a true range of uh, 485 kilometers that is close to 500. And uh, people claim who have tested it yesterday claim that they have gotten close to 500 kilometers range, true range in real world conditions, despite using different modes, which is absolutely extraordinary. The 65 kilowatt hour battery pack comes with a IDC claim uh, range of 538 kilometers and the true range is supposed to be somewhere around 430 is what the Tata officials told me in the morning during the briefing and the top speed is limited to electronically limited to 180 kilometers per hour. This is capable to go way more than that. That's how uh, you know beastly beauty this thing is and uh, then the acceleration 0 to 100 comes up in just 6.3 seconds. So you know this is not for the faint hearted. Now the design overhaul we see is not too much because it recently got a design update. So the latest design, uh, uh, you know, elements have been retained as such, be it the DRLs or the tail lamp uh, cluster or the headlamp layout, or the LED lamps and the front bumper design. Of course, for the EV, it has been uh, fine-tuned a little bit, but it's built based on the Acti EV Plus, their uh, latest and greatest platform for all their, uh, you know, underpinning all their EVs that are here and yet to come out in the future. And then of course, massive. 19 inch wheels offer supreme road grip and adequate amount of ground clearance is the best part 205 mm of ground clearance making it a proper all wheel drive yeah this is a quad wheel drive dual motor suv that's another significant thing that makes it stand out among its competition you have two motors one dedicated motor up front and a dedicated motor up at the back so you have an induction motor 158 horsepower induction motor up front and a 238 horsepower PMSM motor at the back uh, propelling it to the moon uh, especially in the boost mode and uh, then of course you have the quad wheel drive or all wheel drive capability and we saw what it is capable of at the off-roading experience please watch that video as well if you haven't seen it a dedicated off-roading experience had been done last time around this is on road and real world conditions testing so and how it stands the test of time in terms of range drop or range efficiency battery efficiency thermal efficiency stability handling so that is what we're going to look at in today's drive impression so not only is it a absolute fast and furious performer not only is it uh, you know capable to take on any terrain anytime th thanks to the all-wheel drive and the ample amount of ground clearance it's also very practical in terms of daily utility so 
double click on the key fob you have an electric tailgate that opens up you know boot space which is really really useful on a day to day basis yes the one fact is the loading lip is placed slightly higher that is one thing you need to keep in mind but apart from that you have abundance of uh, space and you have a massive uh, uh, you know rear parcel tray right over here which can be re removed and if you want more space if you want to take the world along with you then fold flat the second row seat 60 40 split seat and you have more way i mean you have more uh, room than ever before and for you to close the uh, electric trunk again double click on the key fob and it's going to close seamlessly so all the functions are neatly integrated and working flawlessly the harry reevy branding sits proudly at the back and so does the vocal for local badging a made in india EV SUV that sets new standards and benchmarks in every aspect uh, that you can think of. Moving inside, you're welcomed with lavish interiors. Uh, you know, ventilated seats, power adjustments for uh, you know driver as well as passenger. You have massive panoramic uh, sunroof here that opens up at the flick of a button. Then you have the huge 14.5 inch QLED uh, display uh, from Samsung. that is absolutely super crisp and super vivid uh, in terms of uh, you know the display and the resolution and the uh, the connectivity and the touch response is very intuitive you have all the kind of uh, apps and uh, you know functions here be it and uh, android auto apple car play then also you have the surround view function the 360 degree camera uh, that uh, is undeniably the best in class especially they have utilized the entire real estate of the massive screen here you can uh, Uh, switch between 2D and 3D view uh, for you to have a look at uh, different kind of uh, as to what's happening around you and uh, then of course seats are well bolstered nice comfortable well cushioned the dash is very very premium again the floating infotainment system then the uh, typical uh, steering wheel with the illuminated tata logo and all the controls uh, be the phone controls and the audio controls and even the adas this one gets adas level 2 seven airbags electronic stability control hill descent control hill hold control i mean uh, you name it this one has it so at the price point at which they have launched it 21.49 lakhs is starting for the rear wheel drive variant they have absolutely nailed it in terms of value and 28.99 lakhs is for the all all wheel drive variant and that in term uh, that also screams value uh, for the kind of range it has on offer the performance uh, the unmatched safety the uh, unparalleled uh, comfort and of course the uncompromising uh, performance stellar performance that packs it and makes it one of the fastest in its segment and as i told you the utility the class leading uh, second row space is again uh, of paramount importance because when you're buying such a luxurious uh, vehicle you don't want to compromise on anything look at the kind of legroom i have on offer as it is it's plenty but you have scooped out front uh, seat backs you have well optimized headroom you have a dedicated armrest with cup holders you have uh, you know door pockets right over here D you know dedicated pillar mounted ac vents to cool you down almost instantly first of its kind 65 watt ultra super fast charging for your phone two type c sockets so that's really uh, top notch and of course this massive panoramic sunroof lets in a lot of light such that you don't feel uh, claustrophobic and also the best part is this these uh, seats with the neck support or the head support even if you doze off you don't just fall off the seat it holds your head in position uh, yeah, despite the fact that uh, you doze off halfway through your journey and that's a very well thought out practically usable feature You also have this boss seat for you such that you don't have to request for them to move forward you can just adjust the seat from behind to make room for adequate leg room or uh, better under thigh support or make yourself comfortable you don't have to go run into the front seat to adjust the front seat or request the driver you have all the controls at the tip of your fingers once you are seated and your chauffeur is driving the vehicle a practically usable feature on a such hot mid afternoon is this sun curtain which not only saves the day shields you from the sunlight but also gives you a little bit of privacy especially when you're traveling with your family when you have your wife and daughter at the back seat it's better you 
put them on to get some privacy. So this completes the quick overview of the stunning and stellar performing Harrier EV. How does it feel or how does it feel to drive in real world conditions and how does it outclass or outlast the others in the segment? You're going to find out in this drive impression. Let's get going. For all the relevant details, this is the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack variant. Uh, IDC range is 627. True range is 485. 0 to 100 comes up in uh, 6.3 seconds and the top speed is 180 kilometers per hour. Electronically limited. So we are in the drive mode. We'll try and put it in the boost mode now. Drop the anchor. And let's get going. Get a feel of how well the boost mode is usable <coughs> oh boy it's like a spaceship taking off it's incredible oh wow what a feeling first things first you need to get into the settings departure warning turned off yeah this is crucial because otherwise it will try to keep you in the lane trying to fight you uh, <coughs> so you have the fdd suspension up front that's uh, really helping the chassis is brilliantly done built based on the acti ev plus platform now let's get a feel of the acceleration as i told you this is the boost mode they're saying that the boost mode will last till 50 percent once the battery goes below 50 percent it automatically switches back to the regular mode glimpse of the acceleration done 180 instantly the acceleration is very very intense a matter of no time the brakes all four disc brakes really 19 inch wheels so you could get a glimpse of the top speed and the kind of stability it has on offer and boost mode is unbelievable it's absolutely ludicrous <laughs> pun intended <laughs> it's insane oh boy just look at it go matter of no time you're there steering calibration is so well done okay we have an empty stretch up front and we are in the boost mode so are we ready steady go oh my goodness gracious this is an insane rocket on four wheels absolutely insane oh my god but the stability is absolutely on point. We've already touched the top speed and I want to slow it down, drop the anchor, test the brakes. Very good stopping power and superb stability. Now the rest of the things I need to talk about. First of all, the comfort. The seating comfort is exceptionally good. And we also have voice command to open the sunroof. So let's see how it works. Hello Tata. Open sunroof. Okay, opening. Oh, there you go. Voice based sunroof commands. Okay, so we can actually close this part and uh, keep it open to let a lot of light inside. But the sun shade goes all the way back. So massive panoramic sunroof. 
uh, the 19 inch wheels really help again as I told you this gets an LFP battery lithium ferrophosphate battery so uh, it has a threefold advantage so it has enhanced safety prevents uh, any overheating scenarios offers longer life and is more cost effective that is a threefold advantage the uh, LFP battery has over the NMC NMC offers uh, greater power density but uh, the life is longer and a better heat management is uh, done with the LFP battery. So FDD stands for frequency dependent dampers or frequency dependent damping settings. So it offers better handling characteristics, uh, especially on such freeways and highways when you are tackling a fast uh, sweeping corners, uh, you know, doing more than triple digit speeds. At that time, uh, I think uh, the chassis handling and stability really comes into play and the suspension uh, uh, stability really comes into play. The damping settings really come into play and that is where uh, the Harrier shines brighter than ever. Being such a tall and muscular SUV, uh, there is virtually no body roll when you are, uh, you know, cornering hard and pushing it to the limits. So that's the best part. Uh, I really loved about it. Uh, this comprehensively better than the ICE vehicle uh, in terms of uh, refinement, the NVH levels and the kind of boost mode it has on offer. Boost mode as I told you is on till 50% of charge uh, remains. So that's again uh, giving unlimited fun to the enthusiast and adequate amount of range for those who want to uh, you know optimize uh, battery efficiency and also the eco mode the best part is the eco mode is very usable see we are simply ambling around and when i flow the pedal even in the eco mode it gives me the boost to perform those quick overtakes and uh, that is the usable eco mode is the beauty of the harrier ev so and the brake energy regeneration of course you have different modes here three levels here so i have kept it in level two i can actually keep it in level three as well or i can actually turn it off completely but i would prefer you keeping it at level two to perform a good uh, balance uh, of performance as well as uh, you know range efficiency because uh, uh, the, uh, the intensity of the uh, brake energy recuperation is pretty 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 much on point so just let go of the accelerator and it almost as you can see comes to a standstill that's how intense the brake energy recuperation is in level 3 and uh, that helps you uh, you know uh, derive or get a maximum uh, range efficiency and extract every ounce of uh, you know uh, energy so we've tested the boost mode we've tested the eco mode we'll also test the sport mode now sport mode is as good as the boost mode uh, it's really taking off almost pulling off a wheelie imagine that so that's uh, really crazy stuff and uh, look at the uh, way they have laid out things uh, of course your 14.5 inch q led uh, display from samsung uh, i think you get around 10 or 12 speakers from uh, this thing that too with dolby atmos uh, surround sound so that is theatrical kind of experience almost feel like you have uh, a kind of a mobile theater on the move with you to you know calm your senses after a hectic day's work the steering calibration is brilliant right on point uh, something that i really really enjoyed uh, with this kind of uh, absolutely crazy acceleration you got to have very good uh, sturdy stable uh, steering calibration to give you that confidence uh, the steering heft is well sorted and uh, then the suspension the chassis is brilliant and uh, suspension is right on point the, even the brakes give you adequate stopping power after this kind of crazy acceleration run uh, that uh, you know hits you out of nowhere uh, once you hit the boost mode the harrier ev gets seven airbags so you get a 360 degree camera as you can see here in 2d and 3d you can see what's happening around you crystal clear view very very bright and vivid display even uh, we are shooting it uh, in the morning uh, session and uh, still offers we are right on the highway and uh, with the sun shining right on top of us but still it has very good legible uh, kind of a display 360 degree camera is one of the finest 
I would say uh, I have had my share of fun. I was really looking forward to the boost mode. The boost mode is super fun. At the same time, the sport mode is equally fun. And the best part is the eco mode being so uh, easily usable on a day-to-day -day basis such that uh, you can extract the maximum range efficiency from your battery. You can forget about range anxiety with the kind of range it has on offer. I mean, 485, almost close to 500 kilometers. Uh, you can do almost interstate uh, travel. That's the kind of range this thing is offering everything makes it so much more value so 21.49 lakhs for the uh, two wheel drive variant or the rear wheel drive variant and uh, 28.99 lakhs for the all wheel drive variant makes it supreme value so thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and drive safe